What's up guys, Marcus from Rare Candy today, and today we're going to be taking a look at another video for our Rogue Rumble series. Um, so this time on Rogue Rumble, we're going to be playing with Lycanroc GX and Vileplume. Um, this is a deck that I saw someone post online a while back, um, and I don't remember who it was, really sorry about that, but I was super interested in this deck. Um, it just seemed really interesting to me, and I just wanted to cover it in a video. So, um, pretty much the concept of this deck is Lycanroc GX is obviously your main attacker, and Crunch is going, its first attack is going to be able to discard energies from your opponent's Pokemon, um, while Vileplume cuts off their items so that they can't get set up well. So, you're basically just denying them from being able to get set up, and you're denying them from being able to attack if they do get anything set up. Uh, by taking energies off. So we'll just get right into the list here. Um, to start it off we have two Shaman EX. Um, Shaman, ba obviously its ability setup. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. So you just definitely need to play you know, at least two of these I think um, to be able to get the turn one Vileplume to get your whole you know, deck set up in general. Um, so yeah, two Shaman seems good to me. Then our attacker for the deck is a 4-3 Lycanroc GX line. Um, Lycanroc GX has 200 HP, it's a stage 1 attacker, um, and it's got three attacks. Its first attack is Crunch for a fighting energy and a colorless. You do 30 damage, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, so, And then this even stacks up with strong energy, so you can swing for 30, 50, 70, depending on how many strong energy you have on you. Um, so yeah, this is what you're going to be attacking with for most of the game. You're just going to be denying them from being able to put more energies on their Pokemon while they're also unable to set up because they can't, you know, use their items or anything like that. So that's going to be your main attack for the game, but it also has two other attacks that are also very good. Um, Acceleroc for two fighting energy and a colorless energy does 120 damage, um, just straight up 120, so uh, no drawbacks, nothing to support it, but... You do have strong energy, so you can swing for 140, 160, or if you have three strong energy on you, um, you can even swing for 180. So um, definitely just a solid attack, but you're mostly, if you're using that, you're probably going to be two-shotting something, or you're going to have already set up some knockouts with Crunch anyway, um, so you'll be able to just you know knock them out with Accelerock after you've crunched them a couple times. Then its last attack, Lycan Fang GX, 200 damage for two fighting energy and a colorless, discard two energy from this Pokemon. This is pretty much just going to be used as your last attack for the game, um, but yeah, 200 damage is a lot. When you put strong energy on that, you can pretty much one-shot anything you really need to. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just a really solid attacker, and obviously, you know, the, the thing this deck is centered around. Um, then there's also a 2-2-2 two, two, two Vileplume line. Um, Vileplume irritating pollen. Each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand. Um, so basically, again, just denying your opponent from being able to set up. Um, just a really good, you know, card in general. Can't keeps them from playing item cards and whatnot. So we'll get into the trainers in the list now. Uh, three level ball. Search for any Pokemon with 90 HP or less. So your Oddishes, Glooms, and Rock Ruffs. Uh, we play one Revitalizer. Um, this one lets you pull two Grass Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. So if we have to discard um, any pieces of the Vileplume line early, we'll be able to you know, get them back uh, if we need them. Um, then we play two Timer Ball. Flip two coins for each head, search your deck for an Evolution Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Um, so usually you're going to probably flip like one heads, one tails. So it's, just, it's still just good because you get to, for free, just kind of pull out a Gloom, a Vileplume, or a Lycanroc GX. Um, sometimes you flip two heads, you get to pull out two. Sometimes you don't flip any heads at all. Um, so yeah, I don't usually like flippy cards, but I thought two would be a good inclusion into this list. Um, so we do play two Timer Ball. Uh, we also have, for consistency, four Trainer's Mail, uh, four Ultra Ball, discard two cards from your hand, search for a Pokemon, helps you lower your hand size so you can draw more with Shaman. Um, obviously, it lets you search for a Pokemon to get your deck set up. Four Forest of Giant Plants. We need this to be able to try and get a turn one Vileplume. Um, and then we have, for the supporter cards, two Lily. Uh, Lily is drawn until you have six in your hand. If it's your first turn, draw until you have eight cards in your hand. Um, so this is just good because Sycamore is a great supporter, but we have a lot of disruption cards in our deck um, and evolution lines that we don't want to be getting rid of. Um, since we, you know, our attacker isn't grass, uh, we won't be able to evolve that turn one with the Forest of Giant Plants. 
So Lily's just a good card to keep us from discarding useful pieces, um, but also uh, help us continue to draw more cards. Then we also play two Lysander, pull something up from the bench, bring it active. Um, you could, you know, be swinging on something and they retreat it, and then you can just pull it up again later and then be able to take a knockout on it. 4N, um, so this is just another, <coughs> we're playing four of this so that you can keep pieces, like I said, in your hand that you don't want to discard, um, but still continue to draw more cards. Uh, we play one Olympia, in case you don't get a float stone on Vileplume, or just if they Lysander anything uh, that, you know, you can't just retreat, um, you'll be able to get it out of the active spot. Also heals 30 damage, so um, definitely seems solid in this list. We play two Kukui, uh, just because you want to be able to swing for more damage, take some knockouts, and it also helps with drawing, uh, you know, some extra cards. Um, if they're ever at odd numbers or whatever, it helps you hit those numbers and stuff. Uh, two Sycamore, um, discard your hand, draw seven. Um, so definitely a solid draw supporter, but we don't want to be discarding too many pieces from our hand because we do need to hold on to evolutions, etc., like I've already said. Um, so that's why we only play two Sycamore. Uh, and then we play two Flare Grunt. Uh, this one's good. Discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, so you can crunch them and then flare grunt them, or you can flare grunt them and then crunch them, um, and it'll take off two energy that turn. So really, just really denying your opponent from being able to set up their attackers. Um, two float stone for vile plume um, or anything that you want to have free retreat on. Uh, but this way, they can't just lie sand or stall your vile plume that does have three retreat cost. Um, then we also play two weakness policy. Um, we just don't want to auto lose to Lurantis, so that's why we have two weakness policy in here. Um, Decidueye Vileplume is also another extremely popular deck um, that could also one shot us with its ability and attack in one turn, so that's why we play two weakness policy in here. Uh, and then we also have four strong energy. Um, this helps buff our fighting type, you know, Lake and Rock GX. Um, makes his attacks do 20 more damage per strong energy that's on him, and then four uh, fighting energy. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the list, guys. Again, uh, the whole point of this deck is to just lock down your opponent, make it so that they can't set up with their, you know, item cards, and also make it so they can't really attack you very easily um, by discarding their energies with Crunch and Team Flare Grunt. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the list, guys. Uh, we're gonna go play a game with this and see what happens. Alright, so it looks like we've got a game against Toshishu. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna flip the coin. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so we flip the coin, we got heads, we're gonna go first. So, Mulligan. It looks like they do too, so it looks like they're playing some sort of an Umbreon Evolutions type thing. Uh, we have another Mulligan here. Let's see, it looks like our opponent does as well. So I definitely am expecting Umbreon GX. <clears throat> so we'll start rock rough here and our hand doesn't look too bad we've got a forest a level ball so we can go straight to gloom this turn as well um we've got lily and sycamore so and then we top deck a trainer's mail so that's good too so it looks like we'll grab a gloom take a look at our deck and just see what we've got all right so yeah we'll take an oddish Sorry, I think I said Gloom, but we're going to take an Oddish. We're going to Forest and Evolve into Oddish. And play a Trainer's Mail. So we don't hit anything. It's kind of hoping for a Float Stone there. Um, and then we'll just play Sycamore. And so we get an Attachment that for this turn. Uh, we're going to Trainer's Mail. This time we get the Float Stone. So we don't have to worry about getting Lysander stalled. Uh, and here we're gonna Ultra Ball, get rid of Forest and Weakness Policy, and grab a Shaman so we can set up and draw some more cards. So we're gonna set up here, and it looks like we get a Vile Plume. So we're gonna play that down and pass. Um, so normally you do want to get your attackers set up first, but we have a way to evolve into Rock Rough next turn. We've definitely got energy for the next turn, um, and we do have a draw supporter for the next turn as well. Um, I think we've got a pretty good start here, so I felt comfortable evolving into Vile Plume now uh, to go ahead and lock the items, but we did just get end out of our hand that we were comfortable with, so let's see how this goes. Uh, looks like we get a Rock Rough, so no Lycanroc. Um, so yeah, that's why you uh, 
you wait to evolve, but um, learn from our mistakes. But uh, yeah, I didn't think it was too bad of an idea at the time to evolve, just because my hand looked good, but we did get end out of it, so. Um, we will get side beamed this turn, but that's okay. We can venture rock rough and attach an energy to it just in case. Uh, we are going to uh, see. I'm kind of stuck because I do want to draw more cards, but I think the uh, flare grunt is the safer play here. Um, yeah, so we went with that. But if they do have a double colorless energy, we will for sure be getting knocked out. And they play rough seas, so uh, maybe to evolve into evolutions like Vaporeon or Jolteon and be able to heal themselves with rough seas. Uh, they will get a Lily for three. And let's see, they will stand in. And they do have the double colorless energy, so we definitely get knocked out here. Um, so we're actually not in the best spot right now. Uh, we're gonna promote Vileplume. Um, it has Float Stone on it, obviously, and it could potentially be able to just take a hit as well. So we Kukui into 2N, um, and I think we're gonna just leave Vileplume active here uh, because it can survive a hit from Zoroark, um, and I don't think that there's anything else it can just kind of that our opponent can just kind of like bench and one shot our Vileplume with. So I think we're fine here. So we'll see what they decide to do here. Um, hopefully off of this end on our next turn we'll be able to get a Lycanroc and definitely would like to get you know some more Rock Rough on the board. Uh, so we get an Ultra Ball but we can't play it. We'll attach for turn and play an M. Uh, and they did, dis they did attach a Dark Energy to their Espeon last turn. Uh, we end ourselves into a lot of supporters. So we're going to retreat to Shaman. Let them take a hit on that. And... Uh, yeah, still not <laughs> the best looking setup here. The uh, our opponents end that first turn definitely um, did some work for them. Uh, so they do play Yen Mega in this list as well, which is kind of strange. But um, I guess they're just trying to be able to cover all of their different you know types and be able to attack things for weakness. Normally, this kind of thing sees Vespaquin in the list, but um, Yen Mega is good too for sure. So we're going to attach to Shaman here, and we've got a lot of stuff in our hand that we don't really want to get rid of, but we really need to get a Lycanroc GX out this turn. So we're going to evolve to Lycanroc, we did get one, bump their stadium, retreat the Shaman, and be able to attack this turn. So we're going to do an Acceleroc for 280 damage, and be able to take a prize card. So uh, we're starting to come back. Um, and uh, you know our hand doesn't look too bad for the next turn either. We don't have another Lycanroc GX to evolve our Rock Rough, but uh, maybe we can get one out of the prize cards or something. So they will end us. Um, let's see what we get. So we get a Vile Plume, a bunch of stuff that we can't really play, and a Lily that doesn't draw us too many cards. So I definitely preferred the last hand. Um. But yeah, let's see what else our opponent has for us this turn. Definitely worried about this Yen Mega here. Um, I'm pretty sure he's about, yeah, he's going to evolve and he's going to attack us for, he does have four in hand, um, so he could have attacked without attaching, or well, you know, it would take three energy anyway, so he's going to do 100 damage to us. And I think just kind of trying to decide which supporter we should play here. Um, we just kind of opt not to play one though and just take a knockout on this Yen Mega. So luckily their threat that can, you know, attack us for weakness is off of the board now. So we'll see what our opponent does. So they are going to Lysander up this Shaman. Uh, we don't have an energy in hand to retreat it with, so it's definitely going to stall us out. Luckily we do top tech another Lycanroc, so we do have another one to be able to get set up. And um, so we hit a strong energy, uh, we won't be able to attack this turn because we can't attach that to Shaman, but we do have an Olympia for next turn. So if they don't take a knockout on our Shaman EX here, uh, we will be able to you know, get into the active position with our Lycanroc GX and be able to take a knockout. So. 
So here, I think they just played Kukui. Um, yeah, so they're going to attach a double colorless energy and pass to us. So we will Olympia attach to the bench to Lycanroc, I assume. Or maybe we Lycanfang GX, and yeah. So we're going to Lycanfang GX them, discard the two fighting energy, and then we still have the other one in hand to be able to attack with next turn. And then nothing crazy off the prize cards. Could set up with Shaman, but I think we're fine for now. Um, so he'll pass to us. And we'll be able to crunch them for the knockout here, doing 50 times 2 for 100 to take a knockout on this Zoroark. And he'll promote uh, Tauros GX. This thing is kind of scary to attack into, but we've got a pretty comfortable prize lead, and I'm pretty positive they have 4 double colorless in their discard pile. So we'll bump their stadium, and we're just going to crunch them. So he is at 100. If he does have a way to attack this turn, he will be able to take a knockout for sure. Um, but he does have 4 DCE in the discard, so he does just decide to concede. We do have the knockout next turn, so... Yeah, guys, that's pretty much how this deck works. Um, just prevent your opponent from attacking with Crunch and Team Flare Grunts. And, um, you know, be able to take knockouts later in the game with Accelerock and Lycanfang GX. Uh, cutting off their items with, you know, Vileplume to also, you know, just keep them from preventing... Or preve keep preventing them from being able to set up their deck. Um, so yeah, it's just a total like, you know, denial deck. Like, you're not gonna be able to use your items, you're not gonna be able to attack me either. Uh, so yeah, it was a super interesting deck. I really wanted to cover this one. Uh, whenever I saw this one online, someone had, you know, the idea for this deck, I was like, whoa, that's super interesting. So I wanted to play it for sure. Um, tried to get the best game possible, uh, but most of the time, I, play, I think I played like 10 games, and each time you just kind of get like Vile Plume, Crunch, take their energy off, they usually just kind of quit, because they're like, okay, I'm not going to get to play this game. Um, but yeah, uh, let us know in the comments if there's anything that you would change about the list, um, and you know, if you'd like to add anything, or if you like the list how it is, whatever. Um, be sure to give us a like and a subscribe, and also check out our merch at rarecandytcg.com. Pick up a playmat or a dice bag, uh, you know, definitely help us with supporting the channel and whatnot. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.